book of St. John, 17 and verse 14, I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Call Halal, Yahweh, Baal Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Raka, Kwedash. I want to give double honors to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Also, peace and blessings to my fellow yokesmen, the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Also, to the believers, the brothers and sisters that continue to believe upon the names Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, and all fear shall want. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This truth that we have received, we being the hopeful elect, is not a world-friendly doctrine. And we must keep that in mind when pertaining to the world, mainly our people. Two-thirds of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, don't want restrictions on your life. And pertaining to this truth, this truth comes with restrictions. That's why this is not a world-friendly doctrine. And people, mainly our people, do not want to be told what to do, how to do it, and when to do it, and how long it should be done. St. John 17 and 14 again, I have given them thy word, and the world have hated them. So by us bringing this light forth within this gross darkness, mainly that our people living in, they don't want to hear this word. And by us bringing this truth unto them, it's an uncomfortable thing, because this is not a world-friendly doctrine, such as Christianity is. Christianity teaches love, 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 which is a false balance of the Most High, where we bring the true balance. The Most High kills and make alive, all right? He loves and he hates. So this is not a world-friendly doctrine. And by us bringing this doctrine that we have, which is the true doctrine, we shall be hated. Just like our Lord and Savior was hated. The book of St. John, chapter 15, and verse 18 tells us, and you see the title, Disciples' Relation to the World. St. John 15 and 18, If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. So, we are following in the footsteps of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. So he was hated, and we shall be hated. Why? Because we are speaking the words of the Most High, all right? Which is the truth through our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Because everything that was given unto him, he have allowed us to have it through suffering with us. And that's mercy from the Most High. And by us receiving that, and putting that forth, which is light, which is true understanding, we shall be hated, following in the footsteps of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. St. John 15 and 18 again, if the world hate you, which it will hate you, if you are sincerely in this truth, it says, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Verse 19, if ye were of the world, the world would love its own. Yeah, if you was agreeing with darkness which is agreeing with this system and everything that esau edom has taught this world the world would love you it says but because ye are not of the world yeah because ye are of light okay the world is gonna hate you it says but i have chosen you out of the world therefore the world hate of you so now you have been chosen to walk in light okay and the world is gonna hate you for that it says, verse 20, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant, and we are the servants, the followers of Yahweh Shai, is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sayings, they will keep yours also. So let's read that again, St. John 15 and 20. Remember, all right, because when we fell asleep and woke up in these times, all right, the things that was told unto us when we walked with Yahweh Shai was forgotten. But due to us having our pure minds stirred up by the way of remembrance, we have came back into the knowledge 
of the things that is need of us here in these times. He says, remember the word that I said unto you. St. John chapter 14 and verse 26 tells us the Holy Spirit was going to come upon us and bring all things back to our remembrance. It says, the servant is not greater than his Lord. So Yahweh Shah told us this when we walk with him. All right. It says, if they have persecuted me. So let's look up this word persecute because they persecuted our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. And we're following in the footsteps of Yahweh Shah. So the same thing they did to Yahweh Shah, they're also going to do unto us. The word persecution, the pronunciation in the Strong's G. Strong's G, 1377. Dioka. Dioka. It says, to pursue in a hostile manner. Okay? And, and that's what these people are going to do. All right? Pursue us in a hostile manner. All right? And that's going to lead to them destroying us, all right, or trying to destroy us, okay, the same way they did our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, mainly our people. Because what did our people say? Let Barabbas go and kill Yahweh Shai. Let darkness go and kill the light. It says, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sins... They will keep yours also, but they didn't keep the sayings of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Therefore, they're not going to listen unto us because we're not speaking our own words. We're speaking the words that we was told to speak through the Spirit. It says, but all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake. And we have the true names. We're telling the world that the Most High name is not God. His name is Yahweh, according to the Paleo-Hebrew or the Ancient Hebrew. And his only begotten son, which is our Lord and Savior, who we follow, his name is not Jesus Christ. It's Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Okay? It says, but all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake. So they're going to pursue you in a hostile manner and going to uh, proceed to put you to death because we carry the true names. It says, because they knew not him that sent me. Yeah, they knew not the Most High. Therefore, they knew not Yahweh Shai. And we're following in the footsteps of Yahweh Shai. Therefore, they're not going to know the words that we're speaking, which is light. Them being in gross darkness. Now, let's jump back to St. John 17. And let's finish verse 14 off. It says, I have given them thy word, and the world have hated them, because they are not of the world even as I am not of the world, all right? So, Yahweh Shai came from a celestial state and took on the form of a servant, okay? And he was not of this world. So, he have chosen us out of darkness and given us the light. Therefore, we are not of this world, all right? The views that we have, the outlook that we have is not like the rest of the world, mainly our people. And for that, they're going to pursue you in a hostile manner. Verse 15 it says. I pray not that thou should have. Take them out of the world. But that thou should have. Keep them from the evil. Alright so the evil is coming. In the form of that evil. Is our own people trying to persecute us. Alright. Verse 16 it says. They are not of the world. Even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth all right so we have been separated from the world through the word okay which is the truth verse 18 it says as thou has sent me into the world even so have i also sent them into the world verse 19 so we were sent into the public's eye to speak this truth all right making our bodies a living sacrifice all right, because mainly our people are going to be the ones that want to put us to death because they're conformed to the wicked world. And they don't want us to speak against the world that they're living in, which is a wicked world. They don't want to see righteousness coming. All right. Once again, this is not a world friendly doctrine. This doctrine is full of restrictions. And once again, people don't want to be taught, mainly our people, how to live. Verse 19 and for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. 
All right. So let's jump from there and let's get the book of Luke. Verse 21. So like Luke chapter 21 and verse 12, it says, But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you deliver you up to the synagogues and into prisons being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake so all of this is going to be done unto us for the name sake of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah and his only begotten son's name Yahweh Shah verse 13 and it shall turn to you for a testimony it says settle it therefore in your heart all right not to meditate before what ye shall answer so take it to mind not to premeditate your words allow the holy spirit to rest upon you which comes from the father through yahweh shai and allow that to guide your tongue in those times verse 15 for i will give you a mouth of wisdom see which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist okay now, verse 16 tells us, and ye shall be betrayed. So, the ones that um, we are speaking this light unto, all right, they are going to what? Want to betray us. When we're out on the highways and byways and hedges, all right, they're going to try to point us out and say, those are the ones that follow Yahweh Shai. All right, Esau, Edom is going to have the spirit put upon him by the Most High to try to come down upon the true men of the Lord. Now, the scripture tells us, and ye shall be betrayed both by parents. So, as the scripture tells us, your real foes are those of your own household, roughly paraphrasing. So, that's why we must be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Those same people that you think love you for this truth that you have, they really hate you. And those are the main ones that's going to persecute you, all right? Or uh, allow Esau, Edom to know where you're at. It says, and ye shall be betrayed both by parents, so that's your mother and father, and brethren, and kinsfolk, and friends, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. So some brothers, your own closest uh, people that you thought was down for you, they're going to be cause you to be put to death by ratting on you, telling Esau, I know where he at. Verse 17 and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. So this is not a world-friendly doctrine. We can't have in our minds thinking that the world love us because we have the truth. No, they hated Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, all right, have allowed us to, to receive this truth by the mercy of the Most High, and they're going to hate us also. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but there shall not any hair of your head perish. See that? So we got to wait upon the Lord in that day. The scripture says, and your patience possesses ye your soul. So we must know that even if we do have to go through that, because some brothers are going to have to go through this for scriptures to be fulfilled. All right. We must know we got to have patience in those times. Okay. Now the book of St. Mark chapter 13. And verse 9 tells us, it says, But take heed to yourselves, for there, for they shall deliver you up to the to counselors, and in the synagogues ye shall be beaten, all right? And ye shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them. Verse 10 and the gospel must first be published among all nations. And we are witnessing that right now. All right. Then all of these things are going to take place. Because they're going to be able to ID who are those that follow Yahweh Shai. And the scripture says we're going to be beaten. Those that have to go through that. Okay. It says, verse 11. But when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak. See that? This is reiterating, all right? The book of Luke, the 21st chapter. It says, Neither do ye premeditate, all right? But whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, that speak ye. 
for it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Spirit. All right, and that's something that we must uh, keep in mind. Verse 12, it says, Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father, the son, and the children shall raise up against their parents, and shall cause them to be put to death. Verse 13, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. So that's all men. So we can't think anyone around us is for us. All right? Because we have the truth. The scripture says, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. All right, so that's why in your patience possesses ye your soul. We want to pray for endurance because these times are coming. Okay, and we must keep this to mind through our day-to-day -day walk. That's being wise. St. Matthew 10 and 16. It says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. So we are those sheep, all right, in the midst of these wolves, these uh, bloodthirsty wolves, everyone around us. It says, Be ye therefore wise as serpents. And an example of being wise as, as a serpent is knowing that these people around us are two-thirds, man. We can't go to these people and, you know, tell them that you're Israelite, their savior, um, is a so-called modern-day black man. The image that that's up on your grandmother's wall is false. All right? For that, people are going to want to kill you. That's not being wise as a serpent. Okay? It says, and harmless as a dove. That's right. Take no uh, arms up, carnal arms. Okay? In these days, knowing that we have the ultimate weapon, which is the sword, which is these scriptures, and use that. Verse 17, but beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the counselors. And this is prophecy. This prophecy will be fulfilled. And they will scourge you in their synagogues. Verse 18, and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in the same hour what ye shall speak. So, this is reiterated a third time. So this is something we should hold dear to our, our conscience and our minds to know these things, all right, and to be wise day by day and know that these same people that we um, prophesy into, they're wicked. And in the back of their mind, they may agree with you, but in the back of their mind, they want to kill you because they think you're crazy. Because they don't get this truth. Why? Because they are covered in gross darkness. We are the light. All right? And by you shining that light within that gross darkness, which is the spirit, all right, coming off of your tongue into their wicked ears, in their subconscious, they're thinking they want to kill you. Verse 20, For it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. See that? So these are the things that we must know. All right, on our day-to-day -day walk, knowing that having this truth, you're not going to be loved. All right, you're going to be hated, and that hate is going to lead to persecution, and that's mainly by our people, and that's something that, you know, to keep in our spirit, to keep in, in our mind, all right, through our day-to-day -day walk. So, you know, Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying. Shalom.